Hey guys, I wanted to tell you that I am so excited about the summer learning series that is coming up. And our first thing that we're going to be learning about is something that has completely revolutionized and changed my career. And that is something called Twitter. And I know some of you might already be thinking, oh my gosh, Twitter, I'm not interested, I don't care. I'll tell you right now, I was the same way, I was in the same boat, but I'm going to try to help you get a Twitter account set up and get you started on Twitter so that we can start utilizing this for the most amazing professional development. And not only that, but also a great way to connect with other educators from around the world 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And I can promise you this will be time well spent. Um, so I first want to go ahead and start about getting set up with the Twitter. So you just go to Twitter.com and you go to the new to Twitter and you fill out the information and sign up. Um, I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in as my own per, uh, per personal and professional Twitter account. Um, and so, once I get signed in, maybe I won't be able to, we will see. There we go. So this is what Twitter looks like when you go to it. Now, I have an established account. So what I've done is I've also created an account, a brand new one, for our Navasota Intermediate. And so this is what it would look like the first time you create your account. Now, I'll tell you right now, when you create an account, it's going to ask you to follow some people and then follow some celebrities and then pull people from your contacts. When you get into creating an account, if that's not something you want to do, then after you create your account and it takes you to that page, just go back to Twitter.com and it'll take you to your page like this. And so here is what Twitter looks like when you get into it. You'll see how many tweets, and when you first get started, you'll have zero. You'll see how many people that you are following. So I've already followed 13 people. And then you'll also see, if we go back to mine, you will see how many people are following you. And that's where that number will be written. So obviously you can see from the Navasota Intermediate one, there's nobody following it yet because I just created it. You'll see I have a Twitter stream running right here. This is the tweets that have just happened of people that I'm following. So I chose to follow Mashable. I chose to follow some other people. And so I'm seeing the things that they are tweeting out. So that way I can see what's happening on the Twitter. Now, you'll also notice that there'll be people that will pop up like Pear Deck. I'm not following Pear Deck. So why are they popping up on here? That's because somebody I am following, Joanne Moreland, re, uh, they retweeted it or shared it. If you're familiar with Facebook, when you share a link or through things like that with your followers, it's the same kind of thing with Twitter. So let's say that um, I want to write my first tweet. Now, what am I tweeting about? I always tell people to tweet about things that they're doing that are great in education, great articles they've read, blog posts they've written, all kinds of stuff like that. So if I were going to tweet something out from my account, I could go over here to where it says compose new tweet and I can say having a blast creating my first um, summer learning series videos for uh, oops having a blast creating my first learning series video for my new staff at and I'm gonna put Navasota Intermediate and so there we go. So I put having a blast creating my first learning summers video at my new staff at Navasota Intermediate. And I'm going to put a hashtag, a couple hashtags. And I'll explain what those are in a minute. So I type it in. You see I've got a little number down here, 28. You are limited to 140 characters when you tweet. So that 28 means I have 28 characters left to tweet. So i got to keep it short, sweet, to the point. When I'm done, I'm going to click tweet. And I've now shared it out with everybody who's following me, in addition to people that are following those hashtags. Now, I wanted to tag Navasota Intermediate in that tweet. So you notice I had to put an at symbol. When you are typing about somebody, so let's say that I want to send something to our assistant principal, Terry Garrett. If I write Terry Garrett and then I just put the da 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 whatever, she's never going to see that unless she's looking at my stream. If I want her to be notified that I just tagged her in something, I have to put the at symbol and then I can just start typing her name. And it'll give me some options, people, that they think I'm talking about. And there's Terry Garrett right there. I can click on her name. And that's her Twitter handle. So this right here is what I, now I know that she'll be notified that I want her to see something or that I'm mentioning her in something that I'm doing. So that's the point of a Twitter handle. Now, you'll also notice that I put hashtags. Why would I put a hashtag? Because when I tweet something out, only my followers see it. But if I include a hashtag, what that does is a hashtag creates a chat room type environment where it groups everybody's tweets together that are using that same hashtag. So if I were to go and search the hashtag TexEd, which stands for Texas Educators, I could search the hashtag TexEd right up here in this search box, 
And what it would do right then is it would pull up all the tweets that are being tagged with te text ed. But I can also go to all right here and see all the tweets that will be tagged. And there's mine right there, in addition to other people who have been tweeting using the text ed hashtag. And I'm not even following these people. But because I searched the hashtag, I can see it. Now, educators like to ask, well, I don't even know where to start with hashtags. What education hashtags are there? I still don't understand about tagging people, all this stuff. Google is your best friend. You can really use Google to your advantage here. You can Google, what are education hashtags? How do I tag somebody on Twitter? How do I retweet something? How do I favorite something? You can do all kinds of things like that right there getting started that you have Google at your fingertips 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you have that ability. So I'm going to go back to my home right here. And it's back to that home screen that I'm on to see the different things that are happening on my Twitter stream. And I can continually update to see new tweets. What I would suggest you doing when you're first getting started is to use what I'm calling my 21-day Twitter guide. This was created by uh, Carl Hooker, who works for Eanes ISD. I've included the link in your email, but you can also Google 21-day Twitter guide. And it's proven that it takes 21 days to build a uh, habit. And so what, what Carl did is he came up with everything, to, different things to do for 21 days. So my challenge for you for this first summer learning series is to get your Twitter account up and running today. And then each day, go through these days and do one thing after another for the next 21 days to get linked on Twitter. So that's my challenge. You will learn more as we go through. I will do more trainings over how to do it. But all you need to know now is to find some great educators to follow. Follow some hashtags. If you're looking for great educators, just search different education hashtags. And by just starting to do those 21-day things, if you're not even sure where to go to get started with your first people on who to follow, you can go to my page. And when you click on my name or go and search Todd Nesloni or you can go and search... Uh, Tech Ninja Todd, when you go to my page, this is what you'll see. And you can go to my page and you can see all the stuff about me. Oops, didn't mean to click that. You can see all kinds of things and you can click on more. Underneath more are some lists that I've created. So if you go to my list, what you can do is you can see different lists that I've created of some great librarians to follow, some great project-based learning people to follow, some great admin. And then here's my suggestion to you is my must follow list. And I'm trying to update this as much as possible from people that I'm learning from. But I would definitely say that these 65 people in here are people that are great. So if you go to my must follow list, you can check out all the members in this list. And you can go and see every single member that I have in here and see some great people in education that you can start following right now and start learning from and getting a lot of great material from them. These are people that I respect, that I look up to, and I'm trying to add to all the time. But it's definitely a great place to start when connecting yourself with other people in education. If you want to see notifications that have been happening for you, up at the top we have the home, which I've been to several times to show you. The home is where you can tweet from, do all kinds of things. You can tweet actually from any page by clicking this little pin button up here. You can compose a tweet and it'll open it up and you can type in here, attach a photo, whatever. Just like sending an email, you just got to keep it to 140 characters. Well, if I want to go to my notifications, that's where I can see different things that people are tagging me in, if they're favoriting my stuff, if they're retweeting my stuff. So you can see I wrote a tweet about uh, creating this video and Kenya already responded, uh, I guess about Navasota Intermediate still being an egg. I know I need to change that picture. Um, Jamie Linton said she'd love to see it. Ryan McLean said, yes, please share. And so I can already see the conversations that are happening with these people. And I can choose to reply directly to that person. I can share what they just tweeted out. If it was something great, I can retweet it. Or if I don't have time to look at it now, I can favorite it. And it stores it away in my favorites folder. And I can go back and look at any of these tweets anytime that I want. People think that being active on Twitter takes a lot of your time. It really doesn't. You can do it in the grocery store line. You can do it when you're sitting at a red light. You can do it during commercials while you're watching TV. You don't have to be on Twitter all the time. The good stuff that's out there, it's going to be retweeted a lot and shared a lot. So it'll keep coming up. And as part of my staff, I'm going to keep sharing things with you also of different things that we can do. So to re to re wrap to re recap, <laughs> let's use the correct words here. What I want you to do, and my goal for this first challenge of the summer, 
is to create your Twitter account. And if you don't like your Twitter handle, that's okay. You can create a different, you can change the Twitter handle later and do anything that you need to there. But I want you to create your account. I want you to start going through those 21 day things. I want you to follow me so I can get and send a tweet to me to let me know that you're on Twitter so that I can get started connecting and building a list of our new active employees to start connecting you with great people that you can learn from. Um, and we'll be learning more and more along the way. I always say that this is not something that you can break. So don't worry about making mistakes. That's how we learn. Don't worry about tweeting the wrong things or not tagging or getting everything wrong. It's okay. That's part of the process. My goal is to just start getting you active online so you can start connecting with others and start learning right away.